This video will show you how to make puffer objects in Blender, please watch it up to the very end. When you open Blender, first press tab to go to the edit mode. Click on this X to go to a side view then press S then Z then 0.03 to scale it down along the Z by 0.03. Press Ctrl or then 10 then click and right click to add 10 edge loops to this side. Come to this side as well then press Ctrl or then 10 then click and right click to add 10 edge loops to this side. Come to the middle here and press Ctrl or then 1 then click and right click to add an edge loop. Click on this Z to go to a top view then press S and scale it up up to this level. Press E and right click to extrude then press S to scale it up up to this level. Press X then click on edges to delete the edges. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. Come to the modifier properties then click on add modifier then go to generate and add an array modifier. Increase this count to 10 then come down here and click on this box to activate merge. Press shift D to duplicate this array modifier. Scroll down under relative offset then reduce this X factor to 0. Click here under Y then reduce this Y factor to negative 1. Now you can see that we have a shape to work with here. Now click on this icon to go to the physics properties then click here on cloth to add a cloth physics to it. Scroll down to pressure then click on this box to activate pressure. Click here and increase this pressure to 10. Come down here and click on this drop down arrow on shape then click on this box to activate sewing. Click on this drop down arrow on collisions then click on this box to activate self collisions. Scroll up and click on this drop down arrow on cache then reduce the end frame to 200. Now click on bake to bake the simulation. Now if you play it, you can see it coming out well. So go back to the first frame then press shift to then go to mesh and add a cube. Press G then move it here at the center of the object. Press S to scale it up up to this level. Click on this Y to go to a side view then press G then Z to move it down here. Press tab to go to the edit mode then press Ctrl Shift B to bevel it. Come down here and click on this drop down arrow then switch it from vertices to edges. Increase on these segments to 3 then press tab to go back to the object mode. Now go to object and click on shade auto smooth to shade it auto smooth. Come to the physics properties then click on collision to add a collision physics to it. Now select this plane then come to the physics properties and scroll down to cache then click on delete bake to delete the bake. So click on Bake to bake the simulation again. Now click here then reduce this end frame to 200. If you play it now, you can see it colliding with the cube perfectly. Now select it and go to Object then shade it Auto Smooth. To make it even smoother, come to the Modifier Properties then click on Add Modifier then go to Generate and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Reduce these render levels to 1. Now if you play it you can see it coming out perfectly. And now we're done. You can now go ahead to work on your scene further in render. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial up to now, I really appreciate. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.